Hi again there guys, Emma here from Paint and Pino giving you some top tips for all things art and design. And in today's video, we're gonna show you how to produce a really simple but effective sunset sky, but just using a sponge. So the colors we're going for are the warm red, the cool yellow and the white, and of course, the basic sponge. Now for this painting, we're actually gonna put the paint directly onto the canvas. It just speeds up the process. I do like to do a lot of color mixing on the canvas itself, especially when you're doing a technique like this, where we're working really loosely with the paint to get those lovely cloud effects. Now I know a lot of people don't like to do this because it does use a lot of paint, but at the same time, you want to use a lot of pigment to be able to generate those gorgeous, effective colors so that you're not using water to bleed those colors through. So you can see I'm just literally putting stripes onto the canvas. Just being a little bit aware, I don't need as much yellow, but I just want to make sure that I've got it well distributed across the canvas as well. Now the trick guys to using the sponge here is you don't want to start with the red. Once you get the red pigment onto your sponge, you're not going to be able to go back to that lighter color. So I really want to just get a nice combination of those pale whites and yellows, just so I can get that contrast of light to start with. If I'd have gone straight on with the red, I would have just been fighting a losing battle in terms of getting these lovely colors. As you'll see in a moment, obviously it's a more dominant color because it's the dark color. So I want to be using the red at the later end of the painting. So I'm just titivating the page, really lightly touching the sponge so that you really get some of those deep colors coming through. If I push the sponge down too hard, then I'm just going to make those colors bleed together too quickly. Whereas I want to have a nice contrast with, with the colors. So I'm just gonna start working some of that red into there now. And again, really lightly just using the sponge just to get those individual colors and streaks coming through the painting. It's always handy as well, guys, to have a couple of sponges spare, because in a moment I'm gonna find that there's so much pigment on the sponge, I'm not gonna, I'm gonna lose control with the actual pigments and distribution, so I'm just gonna have a spare sponge handy in a moment. So I'm just gonna finish off these top areas here. So you'll see what I mean about the thick red. I know there's a lot of paint on there, but you get that gorgeous, deep, dynamic color if you actually use a lot of pigment itself. So you can see how much pigment's on there. The sponge, so I'm just gonna swap that out. And then we'll just go on with a clean sponge. So again, really lightly, just almost scraping across the top of the surface of the canvas. It's a really satisfying way. If you've never um, blended paint with a sponge before, I cannot recommend it enough. It makes blending so much quicker. It's really fun because it's nice and tactile and you actually have a lot more control over it than you would think. So I'm gonna show you here just what I mean by just barely touching the canvas. Just, you get those subtle blends of colors coming through. So I want that contrast of the dynamic color at the top but I also want to have some nice subtle colors in the middle as well. Now actually I need a little bit more pigment every so often, so I'm just gonna take some of the excess from the other sponge as well, because I just wanna try and work a little bit more red into this sunset painting. It's also really easy to become too patterned. When we start to paint, we naturally want to do the same repeated stroke over and over. So it's really important that you try and vary up those strokes. It's almost like waves, because it just adds a little bit of drama to the painting rather than it just being perfectly blended through. And you can see how you've got the lovely contrast of whites and then the darker reds. That's really important. If you overwork this, you're gonna lose that high contrast, you're gonna lose those lovely whites, and then you're gonna lose the depth to the painting as well. So I'm just gonna finish off here, just adding a little bit more of that direction. Just got a bit more white pigments on the sponge there. Just making sure that that direction's always been worked so you get this gorgeous streaks of the clouds going through the sky. Just finish off in the corner here, just a little bit more white. And I think we're done. <laughs> 